Well, it's now almost 11 o'clock. Uh, listen, I screwed that last one up with a damn phone ringing and everything. And you never really got to see these coins because of the glare and all. I'm going to try to see if we can uh, show them off a little better and uh, give you an idea of, of what they really look like. This is the one that says, well, obviously from the Deutschland. Maybe I should put a piece of, piece of paper down to uh, block out that background until we get to those stamp coins. Let's just cover that up. And here's the, obviously the, the back. This is the same on on every one of these uh, 1972 Munich coins. And for those that uh, didn't see the last set, the Munich, uh, this was where, where the weightlifting team from Israel was captured by uh, September 5th, black, whatever they were called. Uh, anyway, by terrorists and uh, ended up uh, a uh, rescue attempt was uh, made at the airport. They wanted a plane to fly out, and of course, uh, everybody remembers they were all they were all killed. The terrorists and the uh, and the remaining members of the weightlifting team from uh, Israel. And this was uh, really the start of a, of of a lot of the uh, terrorism. But these are the six uh, the six coins that make up the set, and there, are, as we said before, there were supposed to be four complete sets in this one box. Why they got so cheap about it and only made only made uh, six separate coins is beyond me. When everybody else, you've seen the Canadian sets I have and and other American coins on the Olympics that uh, why the Germans just decided to to have uh, six uh, six coins uh, is beyond me but that's what they had now here's the one looks like this first one I showed but this one is from uh, Munich and the other ones from uh, Deutschland so that's it. That'll amend those. Now, here's those replica stamps, the official 1984 United States Olympic postage stamps in solid sterling silver. All right. Well, there's only a couple of them. But Tom didn't have the whole set, but what he has, we'll see, is very nice. And the four stamps that he does have all happen to be uh, women's Olympic sports, but they're nicely done. And as I said before, you'll notice that uh, the postage in those days was 20 cents, so you better get out and get them forever stamps. And if there were four of them, this one Tom took out because Tom weighs everything. But look at the back of these. How, how just nice they are with proof. Let me see. I, I never get this straight. Woman's broad jump. Well, I guess you guys are familiar with that. <laughs> and of course, they're from the Franklin Mint, which used to make everything in those days. I guess this is is uh, kayaking. Well, this one's wrestling, so I guess it hasn't been all women, unless women had a wrestling thing. And then the uh, woman's diving. And along with that, and I'll show this real quick, we got that uh, 
thousand grain uh, Christmas carolers, 1973 Franklin Mint. I didn't want to open this because it's still sealed in the original package. This is a thousand grains, and this thing carries one hell of a premium for some reason on uh, on uh, eBay. But it doesn't matter because I don't sell them anyway. Well, thanks for putting up with this. Uh, sorry about the first one, but this is the uh, this this will give you a little better look at these uh, at these coins. They were ten. The ones from Germany were all ten marks, and then these uh, have only value in the, the fact that they're sterling silver. But this one apparently is a highly collectible.